What's going on y'all, this is Black Universe. I wanted to do a quick review of the M-Audio Oxygen Pro 49. I just picked this keyboard up a couple days ago. I actually had an unboxing for this keyboard, but my uh, something was wrong with my microphone, so it didn't pick up the audio, so I said, hell would I just do a review. I actually don't like doing re reviews, I actually like just doing unboxings. I'm not really good with knowing too much of the technical things when it comes to the keyboards and shit. I just, you know, I just play them and make beats and shit. That's all, you know, that's why I buy them. I guess I'll show you what came in the box, but you know, it's the normal, the normal stuff, you know, the manual. I'm actually going to read this. I usually don't read manuals, but for this keyboard, I'm definitely going to have to read it because just messing around with it so far, it's a lot of, a lot of uh, technical things with this keyboard. And you know the keyboard comes with a uh, free software. Let me see if I can find the box. So I'm reading off the box. You get uh, Pro Tools. Uh, I don't use Pro Tools. You get MPC Beats. Don't use MPC Beats. You get a uh, Ableton Live Light. I think every MIDI controller uh, gives you that. I don't know if y'all can read that. Uh, and virtual instruments, you get hybrid, hybrid three, velvet, mini grand, expand, vacuum, boom, and DB, DB33, a classical organ. Okay. Only thing I use from this is the expand two. But this is the box that it came in. As you can see. All right. Let's get that shit out the way. Let's get it to this review. So where, where should I start? So the whole look of this keyboard definitely has a, a professional look to it. The keyboard, I can tell you right now, whoever designed this keyboard is probably the same company that designs uh, Akai's keyboard. The keys feel real good. Uh, piano feel to them. Now don't trip. I don't know how to play the keyboard all like that. You know, I, I go off of sounds and shit. But. And they're uh, semi weighted, and they got uh, after touch. I don't usually hold the key down that long so I don't really give two shits about that but you got your pitch and your uh mod wheels now I just saw a video on YouTube that actually made me come home real fast because I had the keyboard for two days and I didn't use it it's something weird with this uh with this pitch it seemed like it's kind of like a delay in the pitch I, see now watch when I look how fast I do this See. Now in the video, the guy had a another keyboard. When he was doing this, it was you know it was doing this the pitching real fast. But she ain't doing it fast on this, which doesn't really bother me because I don't ever use the pitch wheel. But who knows? I might want to start using it. But I, I'm guessing that's it's probably something that needs to be changed, maybe in the keyboard itself, or I don't know. I wouldn't trip off of it. It's a new keyboard. Anytime a new a new keyboard first comes out, you know it's gonna be some updates. So, so you got uh 16 pads. Now these pads. Now looking um on the box. I thought these pads were uh, like the same size as the Kai uh, MPC pads, but they're not. They're actually smaller than those. And these are, they're actually, they're definitely bigger than the Novation pads, but they're smaller. But it's definitely still good for, uh, for, for drumming. Let's check out the uh, velocity of them. I 
they, I mean, they're not that, they're not super sensitive, but who knows, maybe there's something you can change and change the, the, uh, in the keyboard or something. I'm not sure, but I know they're not like, cause as you can see, I'm hitting this off. I mean, but it, I mean, shit, they cool for drumming and if you, you know, launching stuff in the programs and shit. Black on the track. Uh, you got your buttons for uh the different banks. I believe these is for the knobs. I'm not sure what the pads have. There's some buttons right here. I'm assuming these are for the pads, but when I'm hitting them, I'm not doing shit, so I, I don't know. There's a lot of shit on this uh, keyboard that I'm gonna have to uh, figure out. Let's see, you got your uh, back button, you got your shift, you got your DAW select, you got your presets, uh, preset select, and your uh, your tempo. And under that, you got these also uh, do other things: edit, edit, metro. Uh, you know the metronome. Or... So now let's get into these. Uh... These faders. Pretty good. This is another thing on the keyboard that I don't use, but I probably will start using these a little bit more often. I actually have another controller just for that that just does the fading. It's actually motorized and shit. So. But these are, uh, yeah, these feel, feel pretty good. You know, they're not flimsy or nothing. They're not cheap feeling. It just feels kind of weird. It feels like it's not, like it's a very short push-up. Like it feel like it should be able to go up a little bit more, but you know, whatever. But under that, you got your art button, got your latch, got your chord, got your scale button, got your uh, time division. And the reason why I need a keyboard that has chords and scales is because I don't have too many issues playing keys on my own, because I, I play by ear, but a lot of times, I have days when I come in here and that shit is just not working. Just, uh, let's see. go back to the keyboard. Just like randomly hitting it, it take me so long to the point where I just say fuck it and just, I, I just quit. So, with this chord, uh, with the chord and the scale, well, you already know with scale, scale, you know, that's gonna help you play in the same key and then chord. Same, same shit, but just. You know what I mean? Instead of you going like this with three of your fingers, you better just you know, hit one key. And I'm gonna demonstrate that right now. So, let's see. I haven't learned everything with this yet, but I was messing around with it and shit, so I'm definitely gonna be using this a lot. All right, so now I got it in court mode. noticing seems like at some of the keys it's like a delay with it going into the chord and it's playing like for a slight second it's playing one note then it's playing uh the rest of the notes let me see if it'll do it see it just did it right there now i hope it doesn't do that often because that's definitely some shit that'll make me take the keyboard back. When I buy a keyboard, it cannot absolutely be nothing wrong with it. Especially when you pay in 200 something dollars or more for a keyboard. Can't shit be wrong with this keyboard. Everything has to be perfect.
know what? I think I actually know why it's doing that. Because there's something on here that says chord voice and it says 1, 3, 5, 7. So maybe when I'm doing that, it's randomly making one note play, then 3, then 5, then 7. That's probably why it's doing that. So let me take that, let me take that shit off. Okay, so when the when the keyboard is in chord or scales, there's also a uh, duplicate notes, and I think that's why I'm getting that short note. Cause this note and this note sound the same, but if you go like this, see, I'm guessing that that's just indicating to you that you're hitting the same note. Cause if I go like this, I don't do it. You know, there's uh, BST programs out there that also do that, but. I've never used any, I may still, I might get one and just try it out, but just to be able to click this real quick on the keyboard, I prefer that. It's going to help a lot when I have a uh, beat block. Alright, so, keyboard has a good weight to it. Oh, you know, I forgot to tell you what was on the back of it. Uh, you got a power switch, a uh, sustain uh, switch, uh, you know, your regular uh, USB, and your MIDI out. And there was something else I wanted to mention about this keyboard. Oh, so check this out, right? Now, this keyboard says that it uh, integrates with any DAW. Like, they make it seem like as soon as you plug it in, it's gonna start working with the uh, software, and no, it doesn't. I actually had to uh, put the controller in a uh, Macy mode, and I'm gonna be honest with you. Anytime a controller, a keyboard controller, if you're in FL Studio and you have to put it in Macy mode, to me, I just feel like that means that the keyboard is not integrated with it because when I use Keep MIDI controllers from Nectar. I don't never have to put it in Mackie control. It just it just works with FL Studio. But this controller, you have to put it in Mackie control. So that means that when you just plug this up to Fruity Loops, it's not going to just automatically, you know, work with uh, FL Studio. Even with it even has a uh, a DAW select. I push that in there and did not work. It's still some things you got to do. To tweak it in the MIDI in the MIDI settings to actually make the keyboard work. So I don't know what they meant by that shit, but it's definitely not. I mean, if you plug it in, yeah, it's gonna start doing this. But once you want to start using the faders and the transport trans uh, pose buttons and shit, now you gotta do some tweaking and shit. So um, I mean that's pretty much it. That all I can think of right now about the kick about the keyboard. Like I only had it a couple of days, so I haven't um I haven't used it. So and I'm still gonna be on YouTube looking out looking for other videos on this keyboard, seeing if anybody come across something that I may have not noticed or maybe something um, new about the keyboard that I, I didn't I didn't know I didn't know and shit. Oh you know I forgot to mention too that the keyboard has a uh, note repeat. And usually that that's on, you, of course y'all know what note repeat is. That's, let's see. Let's make sure it works real quick. Let's see something. Oh, there it is. Mm. Now, when I've had Akai controllers, I've never actually just did that and used the note repeat. 
Now, wait a minute. I'm not sure if you gotta do that on the on a Kai controller. Hold the note repeat and, and maybe you do, but I, I don't like that. I wanna be able to push that and that should stay on. Yeah, I gotta hold it. I don't like that shit. Yeah. I should be able to push note repeat and then it should just Man, keep doing track. it. Maybe you can't, I, I don't know. It's like, you know what I mean? Cause these pads also do other shit. You say pan device, send, save. Uh, quarantize, view, and undo. So, like, it's some other, it's a lot of other shit this keyboard does. I probably get more into it as I use the keyboard. But I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a type of person that actually use all the functions on the keyboard. Because when I'm making beats, you know, I feel like I want to be able to make four or five beats. I don't want to be spending time on one beat. You know what I mean? I don't want to be using all that other shit. I want to be able to real fast when I'm uh, doing beats and shit but the main reason why I bought this keyboard was for the score the chord and the scale and I feel like to have that in the keyboard is uh is worth is worth uh having a keyboard that has those features because I feel like as a beat maker that's the hardest thing to do is play melodies and shit I feel like drums and shit that's easy and shit but coming up with melodies and shit is very not easy for everybody so to have that on there definitely should help um hopefully it helps i gotta start using it and seeing how it works into my workflow but i mean this is the m audio oxygen 49 you know what i mean would i recommend this keyboard i definitely would recommend this keyboard if you have the 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 last uh oxygen that they they have out i i think it's I don't know if it's the third one or the or if it's four, but whatever one that was out before this one, if you're looking to upgrade from that to this, definitely do that. Cause even if you have that one, you're missing out on a lot of features from even from even other keyboards that's older than this uh, keyboard and shit. The, the Kai, the Kai keyboards have way more things going on than that M Audio Oxygen uh, keyboard, the old one. But if you're looking to upgrade, definitely upgrade to this. If you Novation also has um, the same features and stuff, but you know, I, I stay away from keyboards that that say that you know that, that basically is made for a certain doll, and I know that's made for Ableton. This is a, I would say, a, a versatile keyboard controller, so you know, I went with this one and shit. But the build quality of it is is very nice. As long as Everything continues to work on this keyboard. I should definitely have this keyboard for years. I tend to, uh, I've had probably every goddamn MIDI controller out there and shit. So I'm definitely trying to break this habit of buying MIDI controllers. But right now I'm feeling this controller. I love the keys. So yeah, I definitely, you know, recommend this keyboard if you get it get it if you don't you don't necessarily have to I mean you know like I said you know the biggest reason why I got it was for the chords and the scales but that I mean that's that's pretty much it um let me take this off I just do a quick quick close-up of the keyboard And there you have it, the M-Audio Oxygen Pro 49.